My name is Iftikhar. I am from Pakistan and I am associated with Children Advocacy Network and Pakistan. Children Advocacy Network is basically working around the rights of children in Pakistan and our core working area is basically policy advocacy for implementation of United Nations Convention for the Rights of the Children and other human rights commitments made by government of Pakistan to improve the general situation of human rights with special focus on children's rights. A lot of children are becoming the victims of child sexual abuse and exploitation. Domestic child labor is a very big and serious issue. Since 2010 to till date, more than 50 children have been murdered due to the brutal torture by their employers, but still child domestic labor is not banned under any law in Pakistan. Children of Pakistan are also facing like child marriage as an important issue because we also see that particular issue as a, a matter of discrimination because for girls the legal age of marriage is 16 and for boys it's 18. So uh, in terms of some other issues for example a right to uh, access towards uh, sexual and reproductive health services so that right is also basically denied. So these are the challenges which children of Pakistan are majorly facing. So independent, strengthened, empowered national human rights institutions can play a very strong role in promotion and protection of human rights generally. And with specific to children's rights, I think there is dire need to establish independent and empowered commission on the rights of children, which can be served as a monitoring and apex body to ensure the implementation of UNCRC. Mechanism to protect children from all forms of abuse and exploitation uh, either these mechanisms could be at the community level or uh, the adoption and development of comprehensive policies, plan of action, enactment of necessary legislation to protect children from all forms of abuse and exploitation. Uh, the UN uh, special procedures, uh, I found that they are, could be very much useful uh, uh, in terms of uh, realizing the rights of children. For example, this Office of Special Repetier on Sale of Children, Trafficking and Child Pornography. So there are a lot of incidents in Pakistan uh, in which children are becoming abused, victims of abuse, pornography and trafficking. So, and despite of all uh, policy and advocacy efforts, we sometimes we feel that government is not paying due attention to those issues. So it could be a good opportunity for us that we can share some case information with the Office of Special Repeteers. We can also use like uh, the concluding observation of, and recommendations made by the treaty bodies. Uh, as a key advocacy tool while working in Pakistan. Uh, the overall process of universal periodic review can also play a very vital role, a very strong role to put political influence on the governments uh, to improve the situation of generally the human rights situation, especially the child rights condition situations in Pakistan. And the opportunities which were uh, basically provided by the International Service for Human Rights during these two weeks course, it was excellent. It, the, these, uh, I mean, uh, these opportunities are basically contributing in enhancing our capacity. And the practical exposures, the scheduling of meetings with special rapporteurs, the meeting with some different diplomats, meeting with some organizations, those who are based in Geneva, meeting with senior journalists. So all these were basically, I think, the practical tool uh, which will surely contribute in, uh, in uplifting our capacities so we can act as informed advocate in Pakistan.